So I got a studio session with Pooh Bear. Um, the plan in the session is just to create some stuff. Like with, with all studio sessions, that's how all producers and writers just come together. We just like, let's just create. So we get in the session. Um, he's in there with his son and his wife, and he's just doing music. He's just relaxing, doing his music. I get in there. I think his son and his wife go to uh, go to get something to eat or something like that. So we in there. We also in there with my homie uh, Kid Culture, who's a dope ass producer. He only like 16, 17 but he produced all the YBN Cordae shit, like his whole album and shit. So he's so talented, especially to be that young. Um, that's my guy. Um, so we in there and I played a sample that I really didn't think that much about that I made. It took me five minutes to make this sample. So I'm just going through samples and I play that one. He's like, stop, play that one. I send him the file, send it to the engineer. The engineer puts it on the computer, loops it and then as we're sitting there, he's like, all right, let's write to it. So we're writing the song, he's writing most of it, and then I'm adding like little tidbits, like, oh, say this instead, or say this, say that. So we end up writing a damn near a whole song, chorus, verses, everything. But it don't, the, the sample has no drums on it or anything. It's literally just the, the vocals and the sample. And so we like, okay, cool, that was dope. But he doesn't tell me like, who is this for? He doesn't, because he works with other artists other than Justin Bieber. So I didn't know if he was gonna use it at all. It was just an idea. So then I leave and then that's that. About three months later, he calls me. He's like, yo, I heard your house got broken into. I'm like, yeah, man, unfortunately it did. He's like, mine did too. I was like, what? How's that? Where were you at? He was like, one on vacation. I was like, me too, man. The same thing happened to me. This is some bullshit, blase, blase. We talking about that. And then at the end of the conversation, he's like, all right, man. Well, have a good one, bro. Oh yeah, you made the album. I was like, what? Like, what, what album? Whose album? He was like, you made the Bieber album. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. After all this bad shit that we was talking about, like what happened to us at the end of the conversation, he's just like, you made the album. Like. You just made the Justin Bieber album as a producer and co-writer. I'm like, this is crazy. My like 2020 is about to be on 800. So when I finally heard the final version, the drums on it and everything, I was just like, this song is crazy. Now it's on the album. So, I mean, you never know how things can work out for you, but it was definitely a blessing the way it worked out. I appreciate Pooh Bear. Happy birthday to my guy, Pooh Bear. Appreciate Justin Bieber. Appreciate Harv, that's the other producer who was on it. And man, just keep building, keep growing, and uh, don't stop now. It's also a testament to everybody who wants to do something other than what their main job is. Just entrepreneurs out here, either way, just keep working. You never know what could happen. You never know. Not in a million years would I ever think I would be a co-writer, co-producer on the Justin Bieber album. I'm like, what? Like, that don't even logically make sense, but it happened just because you put things into the atmosphere, positive things to the atmosphere, and they come right back, so, yeah.